I'm Lauren. So today we have Robert with us. Um, I'm going to ask several questions. So uh, I know that you have been traveling globally, meeting like various customers and regulator. Like, uh, what might be something that maybe isn't in the press that you would like us to know? As part of our operations expanding Luca globally, I visited uh, approaching 20 countries this year alone, and uh, meeting with our customers, with various regulators around the world. And I'd say some of the biggest takeaways that I'm noticing that, that maybe isn't as apparent in the press is there's a, a ton of effort going into the mature adoption of tokenized assets, whether it's crypto or now tokenizing traditional assets. Uh, we're seeing a lot of different frameworks and businesses that are getting ready to launch, which is very exciting to see, even though maybe in, in the US we're seeing less certainty um, but I'd say it's not slowing down the rest of the world. I know like, Lucas was the first company in the crypto industry to like uh, obtain the SOC1 um, report mm -hmm. um, in 2018, and you're now using like, some more um, globally recognized RICS frameworks. Mm -hmm. So like, how do you see, what's your thought here, and um, how does that relate to the data business? Sure. Yeah. So we're in 2018, uh, the AICPA SOC 1 Type 2 was our first one. We were the first in the industry to obtain that, which really, for anyone that's not familiar, it's all about processing integrity and data completeness and, and making sure that our products do that. So if we have software, making sure gain loss computations are accurate and the data is complete. Uh, we've since added on a SOC 2 and also ISO uh, certifications. Um, we have our Luca Prime product uh, uh, certification of adherence from IOSCO under their financial principles for, for benchmarks. And so, and we'll continue to get all of those different things that our customers need to help them trust us. I'd say that they're, um, they're even more important when we're dealing with crypto assets because this ecosystem uses a lot more data and a lot more technology than traditional markets do. And it's a uh, new technology that's very innovative. Um, so we need to think about risk in some new ways, but still need to think about risk. So it's the same old frameworks, but we're applying them to new, new technology risks that now exist today. And that's been a big differentiator of Lucas from the beginning. So we'll continue to get those to help customers trust us. And it's really built into our, our organization's DNA is, is, is thinking about risk management first. When we're when we're building all of these products, like I heard that Lucas recently acquired Confirm, um, and adding like on-chain capability to like support ML and compliant user cases. So like, what do you see? How does this fit into the other software uh, or like data offerings? Yeah, so we started off managing data for our customers, and we built data products internally for our own internal use, honestly, to make the software work. So whether they're pricing products or other standardization-related products, like our, our Luca reference data product. Um, now, today, fast forward, we're, we've been offering all of those products for several years to a lot of the biggest institutions in the world, both crypto-native and traditional. Um, once you have your, your back office and your, your portfolio management or your books and records organized and you're auditable, um, you additionally need to manage counterparty risk, you need to make sure that you're complying with money laundering rules um, and other compliance use cases. So acquiring CoinFirm and all of their products was a natural opportunity for Luca um, as it's really just another capability that all of our existing customers need. So we're very excited to be offering it in conjunction with our services. And we are now the only company in the world that can offer software to manage data, transaction data, the data products as standalone products, and also compliance and AML products all under, under one house, which has become very important, particularly recently when, when companies are cost cutting a bit more than usual just due to the economic conditions. And they're looking to consolidate vendors or streamline legal reviews, vendor risk reviews, and, and things like that. So, um, so very excited to have acquired them this year. Uh, thank you, Robert, for sharing all those thank information you for with me. us. Yeah, and thank you for having us today. My pleasure.